Okay, so in New York City, transit is just the name of the game. It's how the majority of people get around. And you'd think with that being the case that the transit service would just be A plus triple S rank 24, 7, 10 out of 10. The reality is that many people, and we're talking about millions of daily riders, they often have to wait 10, 20, 30 minutes for bus and train service. These long wait times, right? They mostly affect people that travel during off-peak hours. So outside of the morning and afternoon rush hours where service is typically fast and reliable. Because rush hour service is designed around reliably getting Getting traditional Woo! nine to five commuters to work and Woo! back. The problem is for people that have places to be at like midday, late into the evening, overnight and on weekends when the transit service isn't as reliable, meaning that New Yorkers access to fast, consistent, reliable transit service often boils down to when it is they need to use it. When we think about who's more likely to be traveling during off-peak hours, whose schedules are more likely to require them to be places late into the evening or on weekends or overnight, this uneven access to frequent transit service creates an inequitable system where, by design, some people's time and transportation needs are deemed less important than others. Transit is an absolutely essential public service that should be equally accessible, reliable, and affordable for everyone. The good news is this is a wholly feasible reality, but only with the political will from elected leaders like Governor Hochul to invest in all-day, everyday, six-minute service on MTA buses and trains in our state budget. This year, it's time for our governor and New York State Legislature to invest in equity, to invest in economic opportunity and growth, invest in the millions of daily bus and subway riders that each represent a car off the road and emissions that never make it into our atmosphere. It's time for us to invest in six-minute service.